Welcome to Talmudic Treasures. Today we're learning Yevamos page 33, which discusses a situation of two men that perform Kedushin, which is the first stage of getting married, to two separate women. And then there was a huge mistake under the chuppah, and they end up accidentally not taking the correct wife. On this, this was a total accident, but they still are required in the times of the temple to have to bring sacrifices for their wrongdoing. They also are required, once this whole matter has been clarified, to wait three months. And those three months are in order to be able to determine whether or not she is pregnant. Because if she, in fact, did get pregnant with the wrong man and she was really married to someone else, that would have a different status for those children. And therefore, we want to wait until, again, those three months go by. And if she's not pregnant, she can go back to her husband. Now, we see from here that this is, as I've mentioned, a situation where it was a mistake. And it's hard to, first of all, understand how there could have been a mistake. Well, when it comes to Kedushin, it's not even necessary that it must be done by the man himself. It's possible that I can give money to an agent, to a shliach, and they could do the kedushin on my behalf. And of course, it is possible, even though the Talmud elsewhere says it's not recommended, that you may not even have seen your wife. And of course, this is not something which is done nowadays. But perhaps this was something that was something that did take place um, in other times. Now, it's also interesting to point out that the Talmud says it has to be a situation that it was inadvertent. It couldn't be that these people were doing this on purpose. And on this, the Talmud says one proof is because we cannot be referring to Rishayim, evil, wicked people. It would be hard to imagine that we are going to try to go and explain an entire page of law when it comes to individuals that don't care about those laws. And that's an important detail. We find a lot of times there are certain laws that are kept, but the reality is, if it's for those people that break the law anyway, then it really doesn't have much significance. We see this, for example, when it comes to gun laws. The people that break the law will end up maybe getting a gun anyway. And therefore, also here, the Mishnah is not going to go out of its way to entertain what to do for someone that doesn't care.